Imagine that you are somewhere beyond the stars, a place where very few of us have been. Imagine while there's time, it's all there in your mind. This chance may never come again. You can fly Just reach up to the sky And suddenly your wings can touch the sun Now close your eyes and see How special dreams can be Imagining can be such fun That Stand still That moment is today Your heart will lead the way Believe that it is happening to you Imagine Just imagine What And thanks for tuning in to Postcards from Santa Barbara. This is Dan, and today we're at the Santa Barbara Zoo. Just steps from East Beach in Santa Barbara, located on 30 acres of prime real estate. It's been one of the premier attractions in Santa Barbara for quite some time, and has been voted consistently as one of the country's best small zoos. I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Santa Barbara Zoo. My name is Katie Clemens in the marketing department. And as you can see, the Santa Barbara Zoo sits on a beautiful piece of prime real estate in town. Um, behind me you'll find the giraffe exhibit and the lion exhibit, and they have sweeping views of the Pacific Ocean, um, as well as East Beach, which is one of the popular um, beach volleyball uh, beach destinations in town. Um, and on the other sides of the zoo, uh, we're surrounded by the beautiful Santa Inez Mountains, as well as the Andre Clark Bird Refuge. Um, and it's a great place to be and um, it's the number um, two attended attraction um, in the Tri-County area, um, second only to Hearst Castle. The Santa Barbara Zoo opened to the public in 1963 um, and it's actually the on the grounds of a former child's estate, a woman named Lillian Child. She, when she passed away, she donated um, the land and her old estate house to the um, Santa Barbara Foundation and her request was to have the ground turned into a park um, for children with animals. And eventually, um, a group of community volunteers between the years of 1961 and 1963 um, built a lot of um, you know, the land and um, layouts of things that um, are at the zoo today. What many people don't know about the Santa Barbara Zoo is we actually are a private nonprofit organization. Um, most people um, think of zoos as public institutions um, which receive government fundings um, and most zoos are. Um, however, a handful of zoos are privately owned. Um, so we do not receive any government funding um, and we rely on um, the sales from our attendants, our retail, our food, um, for our operational budget. Um, and aside from that, the zoo, if you don't know, is host to um, tons of special events that we have throughout the year. Um, we host um, over 50 weddings um, throughout the year, um, in total over 120 birthday parties, um, 
and the zoo is one of the top um, wedding destinations in town. And behind me you'll find the highly endangered California condors. Um, they are part of our new California Trails exhibit and the Santa Barbara Zoo is one of only a few zoos in the world to display these gigantic birds. So you have to come out and see them. Um, and thank you so much for stopping by. Um, thanks for paying the animals a visit. Um, be sure to come out to some of our special events and the zoo in general is open every day um, except Christmas from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, we close a few days early for special events, so be sure to check the website. It's www.sbzoo.org. And um, thanks again for coming. I mean, uh, her name is? Marjorie Sweet. So far. So far. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Well, thank you very and much. And with a name like that, since she's giving up a name like Sweet, you know you've got to book a wedding, a honeymoon suite now. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Well, she's properly named. Well, wonderful.
This is Dan and you've been watching Postcards from Santa Barbara. If you like the show and you would like to be on, just do a Facebook search for my email, dan.jazzman at yahoo.com. Look forward to seeing you. Yeah.